Hi everybody, welcome to the Actors Academy. Thank you for tuning in today. Today we're gonna to be talking about top 10 talent agencies. So, I've done a video on this a long, long, long time ago uh, in the past, and I think it was one of my first videos that I had done. Um, now, if you guys haven't seen that video, that's okay. This is gonna be kind of an updated one. Uh, what you will find though, is a lot of the top 10 agencies now are pretty much still the same from back then the top 10 usually stays about the same but there may be some differences here or there and a lot of you've been asking for an updated version um, just to see if there's any changes so we're going to be talking about that today the first one that you're going to find that's usually always number one is going to be caa or creative artist agency you can choose which one you want to use you can say hey creative artist agency or you can say caa it's up to you uh, the most common one people will use is the shorter version, which will be CAA, but it doesn't matter. It's the same thing. But again, top 10 agency, it's number one. And, and you'll see on the screen here, I'm going to put the actors, some of them who are within this agency. Um, now, remember though, because these are the top 10 agencies, you also have to remember these are very hard agencies to get in. So just because CAA is the number one, doesn't mean that everybody's going to get to be with CAA. It actually means that most people will not get to be with CAA until they build their credits up, until they've done more work, until they built a little bit more of a name for themselves. Someone starting out has this small of a chance to get a part of CAA. It's very, very, very difficult. Um, you have to have done some sort of work before or know somebody. So, you know, if you know Brad Pitt and Brad Pitt tells his agent and says, hey, I want you to represent this guy that I know. Well then, of course, then you could be in the agency. But otherwise, if you're doing it through the normal way and you have to actually go and work and build your credits up, it'll be a little bit of a while, but they're number one. Number two is WME or William Morris Endeavor. Again, another very, very big agency. These ones bounce back and forth, WME and CAA. Sometimes it's WME is number one, sometimes it's CAA. They switch back and forth, but again, very, very, very big agency. All right, number three is UTA, which is United Talent Agency. Um, United Talent Agency, another very big agency. Um, Johnny Depp used to be with this agency, but I believe he moved um, to CAA, but he used to be with UTA. Number four is gonna be the Gersh Agency. Um, Gersh Agency, sometimes this one actually tends to bounce back and forth. It's not always in the top 10, but it ends up making its way sometimes back in the top 10. Um, but it's a very good, good, good agency. Most of the time it's in the top 10 though, um, but it's another great agency. Number five is ICM Partners. So ICM, another one of those big agencies, usually what um, I found is that it'll be CAA, William Morris Endeavor, uh, and then ICM. But again, they bounce back and forth. So even though ICM is not number three right now, give it another few weeks and then it'll be back to number three. Give it another few weeks, it'll be back to number four or five. It just switches, that's what they tend to do. All right, so we're gonna kind of speed through some of these last ones here. Uh, number six is gonna be the Paradigm Agency, another great agency. Uh, number seven is gonna be the Abrams Agency, Abrams Artist Agency. Number eight is going to be Innovative Artist Agency, another good one here. Number nine is going to be APA. APA is short for Agency of the Performing Arts. The last one we're going to be talking about is number 10, which is Independent Talent Group. Now again, this is another one, it's in the top 10, very good agency to be a part of. Uh, this one though, their main branch is in the UK, so if you're here in the US and you want to be a part of them, very hard, very difficult. Um, practically impossible unless you've already had a name for yourself. Some people ask, can I get an agent overseas? Uh, yes, you can if you have a name for yourself. If you don't have a name for yourself, it's very difficult because they want to send you out for auditions and they want you to be relatively close and not so far away across the ocean. So I hope but this helps you guys remember the top 10 agencies, those are the hardest ones to get a part of. It's just like if you're trying to get into a university for school. The top 10 universities are going to be a lot harder to get into compared to university number 100. 100 is going to be a lot easier to get into compared to the top 10. Maybe the top 10, maybe that's what you're going to have for your goal for the future. For me, I much more prefer the top three. I like the top three just because you get that clout factor. So then when you go and you sign into an audition and you get to put your agency down, you have a little bit more clout when casting directors see you and they say, oh, okay, you're with this agency, you're with CAA, great. Now, does that guarantee you're gonna get the role? 
No, but you have a little bit more clout. And also with the agencies themselves, because they have more clout, they have that ability to get you more auditions. Not that Agency 100 can't send you out for the same auditions, but Agency number one has a little bit more clout than Agency number 100, which is why I prefer the top three, just because of how much more clout that they actually give compared to everyone else. But again, if you're in the top 10, you are you guys will be doing pretty well. So I hope this makes sense to you guys. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel so you can be up to date with everything. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped you guys. Also, I'll be leaving the 10 hour acting masterclass down in the description below and also in the comment section if you guys are interested in that. It takes about two minutes to sign up and I'll see you guys all next time, alrighty? See you guys.